Alright, I feel like I'm making a habit out of saying I never intended to do a follow-up to this, but it's about the third time in around a month that I've had to do so. So as some of you may know, both Nier and I made fairly different videos responding to Kratosis and to a degree, his friends alongside him, over their critiques about the Fallout show. It would seem those videos have caused a stir in his Discord server as well. Now whether or not any of them liked our videos, or think most of our arguments are shit, is uh, pretty irrelevant to what I'll be talking talking about today. But in order for me to really put the full picture in frame, I need to quickly chronicle anything important that's transpired since our videos released. So later the same day, our videos were inevitably dropped into Kree's server by his fans, which, you know, at first it was per the usual, just kind of funny seeing some of the reactions. Nothing too bad, except the first real noteworthy takeaway, is instantly after our videos were shared in there, some people were immediately going to dislike them simply because it was about the show. Now, I'm not saying they all did this, but for some of them, there was absolutely no hesitation, jumping the gun without even seeing our videos. So it is an argument to be made for possible dislike bombing in his server, but I digress. That's honestly the least of my worries, it's just the first real red flag. This all came to a head, however, when a former friend of Nier and I, Michael, decided to run behind our backs to Kretosis. I don't really give a shit if he just disagreed with us and wanted to share our videos with Kree in his server. The context for why this pisses me off is because he went out of his way to paint us as drama whores in his server, all because he also disagreed and or thought our responses were bad. This is also after Nier has tried reaching out to Michael not just once, but twice as a friend, trying to reconnect and get back in touch. Because ever since Nier did his stream and I did my video covering Kretosis and the Act Man slash As situation a few months ago, Michael kind of phased out of our lives and I guess he didn't feel welcomed anymore. Nier wanted to try and reconnect as friends and after getting left on red for months, Michael goes and stabs us in the back by painting us as drama seekers. He was our friend, so he of all people should know that this is bullshit. And what's even funnier is he seems to think that we were upset simply because he told Kratosis about our videos. So not only is he fake as fuck, but also too stupid to see the wrong in his actions. I definitely lost respect for him after finding this out, and we kicked Michael from our public and private servers. Both of us messaged him after, Nears was a lot more straightforward, just parting ways with him, and I was way more directly confrontational, because his actions were scummy to say the least. Which they get even fucking worse, because what was it Kratosis himself said? That Actman leaking Mahler's DMs was incredibly disingenuous? Clearly he thinks it's scummy behavior, which should be condemned. I'll be honest, my only issue with Actman doing it was that Mahler wanted to be anonymous, but I mean if y'all agree with Kree so fucking much and condemned Actman for this, at least practice what you fucking preach guys, come on! Leaking both Nier's and my DMs? I mean, this is literal hypocrisy at its finest. Fake fucking people, man. It's been twice this year now. But I've ranted about Michael enough. He was only a catalyst for what happened with Kretosis. Just remember Michael leaking our DMs because I have some very important DMs between Kretosis and a mutual friend that I'll eventually be showing as I go. Which, considering what Michael did, they can't morally grandstand this like they did with Actman. They're all just petty hypocrites. And if they think I'm unfairly lumping and blaming everyone all together, together for the actions of a few people, well, tough shit. That's exactly what Kratosis did to me when I was just trying to reach out and tell him there's no beef between us. I would just like to clarify, Kree, that our videos on you were in no way meant to be some kind of personal attack. We just disagreed about the show and wanted to say why, if there's any misunderstanding. Right, it wasn't meant to be a personal attack, that's why you called me fucking stupid in the thumbnail and stuff, and made insults against me. Fuck yourself. Now I said this to Kratosis in attempts to clear the air, because after Michael's actions, Kree has justified calling us drama whores trying to farm views, victimizing himself as getting attacked because we were on quote unquote good terms, and even gone as far as to start painting a conspiracy of the situation, all because Vincent Martin and Nier made up for their past drama. Kratosis literally has no better argument than a guilt by association with Vincent Martin, all of which is the real shit that ticks me off. So let's try to address Kree's responses one at a time. We'll start with the main reason as to why I claimed he's playing victim throughout all of this. The notion that Kratosis keeps pushing about us being on good terms slash friendly with him. He seems to think that our videos were unwarranted, we should have reached out for a private discussion instead, and that a simple thumbnail or a remark calling him stupid is an outright personal attack. First off, Nier's thumbnail was just a play on words for the mantra of the series, nor did he even make it himself. If you're going to take that to heart, immediately 
immediately, that's just sad already. Secondly, no one owes you a private discussion about your videos on Fallout. If you make them public, people can publicly criticize you. It's hypocritical to assume otherwise. Thirdly, we've said way worse shit to people we considered way closer friends during more serious drama. Even our friend Thunderstruck, who had legitimate reason to be hurt and upset with us as a friend, came around and settled our differences. Because he's way less of an egotistical bitch than you, he can drop his pride and ego and settle things cordially. Fourth, you seem to think we were somehow close in any regards, let alone even just being on good terms because we stuck up for you against Griffin. We stuck up for other people we didn't necessarily like in the past before too. Road Breach is the perfect example, before he fucking went spreading people's docs that is. We defended him against slander and doxing even though most people in our community at the time, and even now, aren't really friends with him. Due to us knowing more about Griffin at the time of him slandering you, that's why Nier reached out to you to begin with. We always try to side with people and defend people from baseless accusations. And after having them levied at me multiple times now, I can say I'd hope others do the same regardless of how close we are. Lastly, in regards to this point, we never really considered you that close of a friend to begin with. You said that all we should have done was reach out to you and talk to you instead of uploading our videos, but here's the thing. Back when Nier was actually in your server, he was legitimately bullied out of there by some lollytard who even accused him of consuming CP. And you did nothing. You said nothing. Nier reached out to you specifically, Kratosis, over way more important shit, and you did absolutely fuck all. And now I'm supposed to believe that you'd answer us over petty disagreements about the Fallout show? You think we're somehow obligated to a discussion behind closed doors with you? Motherfucker, you didn't even remember my goddamn name! It's kind of hypocritical to complain about being called stupid in a thumbnail when you attacked any YouTuber in your retcons video that uh, justify current follow, I'm just saying. No, that's not hypocritical, because I wasn't on friendly terms with those fucking people. Nier and uh, the other guy, whatever his name is, they were on friendly terms with me. Last I was aware, like, there was no bad blood. And here they are suddenly calling me stupid out of the fucking blue. Yet you want people to believe we were close, or because we defended you, we were somehow friendly. That we kept contact with you even though you left near in the dirt over way more important shit, and you had the gall to call me a liar for reaching out to you? To tell me to go fuck myself for calling you stupid? You genuinely fucking are if you're this caught up in your own pride and ego. I don't give a fuck if you ever acknowledged or responded to our videos either. We make responses when we find things we disagree with. Near's even even done this with other friends of his like My Name Is Death and Thunderstruck. We don't expect drama or views or even for you to fucking care that we did it. But to paint us as backstabbers who personally attacked you over this? You're an actual fucking liar! To think you were upset over me calling you disingenuous in my last video because you called an episode filler when it wasn't, making it a lie, which means it's not a personal attack if it's true. Now here you are lying again, acting like we used to be all buddy-buddy, it's even more more disingenuous, and acting all conspiratorial over Vincent Martin simply being on better terms with us now? Because who'd have thought you're actually the unreasonable one, not him. I can attest to this seeing how you've reacted to our fucking videos and critiques, it's honestly pathetic. And if you're really gonna lump us together with all of Vincent Martin's faults as a result, then maybe you should keep that same energy for people like Flamenco. You're literally associating with a retard lollycon that claimed allegations were evidence, someone who also wanted to call another creator's mother, straight up pulling a quantum TV, and doesn't even realize how his own criticisms about allegations being evidence apply to himself and his own actions. If you're going to criticize us for making amends with Vincent Martin, maybe look in a fucking mirror, Kratosis. If you're calling Actman disingenuous for sharing private DMs, then keep that same fucking energy for your own server members. Just because he's riding your dick doesn't make it okay to do, especially when you stood against it in the past. But Jesus, I've definitely rambled far too fucking much. I never even gave a shit if Kree saw our videos or responded to them, if he thought we were dumb or just brushed us off and paid us no mind. We didn't want any drama like he claimed. Hell, we didn't 
even care if he engaged with the videos, nor do I if he acknowledges this one. I never really cared what else he would have done, just anything but this. So to go and pull the stunts he has, playing victim and outright lying while acting entitled to a discussion over video game opinions when he doesn't even remember my name, left near in the fucking dust over more important shit, and all while we've been through worse shit with people we're actually close to. It's just hypocritical, pathetic, disingenuous, and fucking childishly petty. So I'm honestly just tired of it all, considering the egotistical entitlement both Cree and his server have acted with any time I even talk about them. Yeah, I'm just done with that whole community. So fuck my usual outro once again, subscribe for more gay therapy videos, and I'll catch y'all next time.